Hello, welcome to the course of DBS Choose. So today we are going to discuss about the DBS Choose system block diagram. So here in this chapter we will discuss about the block diagram. Then we will discuss about the mode adoption, stream adoption, then FEC encoding, then mapping, then the physical layer framing, and then the modulation technique. So here this uh, this is a block diagram showing the DBS Choose system block. So here in this, the very first the two inputs are used, the single input stream and multiple input stream. So the single input stream goes to the input interface and this complete system is known as mode adoption, which consists of input interface, input stream synchronizer, null packet deletion, CRC encoder, buffer, merger slicer and BB signaling. So here this complete system, uh, the, the data and the different ACM commands are transmitted through this mode adoption signaling and then this signaling pass through the this network and goes to the stream adoption system. So here at stream adoption system it consists of padder and BB uh, scrambler. So here a BB header data field is formed. After that, the stream's adoption, the FE's encoding is done, where the signal is passed through the BCH encoder, then LDPC encoder, and then passed through the, through the bit interleaver. So at this part, the BB frame passed through this encoder and forms a FEC frame. So then this FEC frame signal goes through the bit mapper into constellation. So here the QP modulation techniques are added like QPSK, 8PSK, 16APSK and 32APSK. So from this uh, modulation technique of one is selected and this is a mapping system. After mapping system a PL framing is uh, the signal is passed through the PL framing uh, system where the PL signaling and pilot insertion is done. And also a PL scrambler uh, is formed here. And here also dummy PL frame is inserted. So after forming a PL frame, the PL frame goes to the BB filter and quadrature modulation uh, or the modulation system. So here the, we are using the roll of factor like 0 0.35, 0 0.25 or 0 0.20. So after passing the um, uh, B, uh, PL frame through the modulation, the signal is formed which is transmitted, uh, transmitted to the RF satellite channel. So this is a system block diagram of DVB S2. So let's discuss about this system one by one like mode adoption, stream adoption, FEC encoding, mapping, PL framing and modulation. So starting with the very first, the first one is the mode adoption. So mode adoption is application dependent block. Here input sequence used here are signal, single or multiple transport stream or a single or multiple generic stream which is packetized or continuous. Then it goes to the stream adoption. So here padding is provided by the stream adoption block to completely fill the BB frame containing user data and baseband scrambling is also provided here. Next it goes to the FEC encoding, so here it carries out the concatenation of BCH outer code and LTPC inner code. The here the transmitted signal contain a mix of normal and short code block. So bit interleaving is then applied to FEC coded bit for 8PSK, 16APSK and 32APSK to separate bits mapped on the same transmission signal. Then is mapping, so here at mapping the bit mapper is used to map FEC encoded block into QPSK, 8PSK, 16APSK and 32APSK constellation to get a complex X FEC frame. After that a physical layer framing at this part it provides optional dummy PL frame insertion, the PL header and the optional pilot symbol insertion and the scrambling for energy dispersion. So here the PL frame is obtained by adding the PL header which occupies one extra slot and carries the information related to the frame type and also the information related to the physical layer mode. At last the modulation is done, here it applies baseband filtering and quadrature modulation to shape the signal spectrum and to generate the RF signal. So here the square root raised cosine filtering is used at the transmit side with choice on the three roll of factor like 0 0.35, 0 0.25 and 0 0.20. So these are the systems through which a signal is passed to form a proper signal spectrum and to generate the RF signal. So this is all about DVB-S2 system architecture block diagram. Thank you.